A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa is departing tomorrow to the Republic of Egypt, where he will meet with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi to review the historic and brotherly bilateral relations, in addition to Arab regional and international developments. His Majesty, the Honorary President of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, received the new five year RCO strategy from the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty hailed efforts resulting in the successful work of the RCO and commended the new strategy. He lauded the efforts His Highness Sheikh Nasser made in leading the charity and humanitarian work carried out by the organization inside and outside the kingdom. His Majesty said that charity work is the duty of every human being according to his or her ability and potential. He expressed pride in the efficiency of the RCO in successfully helping those in need locally and globally. He affirmed the importance of continuing to provide services to Bahaini orphans and widows and those in need inside and outside the kingdom, and in providing support to brotherly and friendly countries through methods that conform with global standards. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for providing support to those in need inside the kingdom and to victims in brotherly and friendly countries. He expressed honour in presenting His Majesty with the strategy, which was based on His Majesty's wise vision and which summarises the experience and achievements of past years. He stated that the strategy aims to achieve a financial investment structure that guarantees the continuity of the RCS charity work despite economic conditions. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pledged to exert more efforts to achieve the desired goals in order to improve charity and humanitarian work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudibia Palace a number of state officials and businessmen. He asserted that the government follows up on all views raised about citizens and the country's commercial and economic affairs. His Royal Highness also affirmed the government's desire to surmount all obstacles that may impede the development process for the sake of the kingdom and the citizens. The Prime Minister stressed that the government considers economy and commerce amongst its top priorities and strives constantly to create conditions and an environment that encourage and facilitate companies' operations. He also highlighted the government's keenness to provide more incentives and facilities for business people and investors to encourage them to play a role in revitalizing the national economy, noting that the government's open economic and trade policy should be adapted more effectively to serve the goals of development. The Prime Minister highlighted the government's interest in consulting and coordinating with relevant parties whilst making any decision, based on its belief in the importance of public-private partnership as being an effective route to achieving forecast goals and meet the requirements of comprehensive development whilst boosting the national economy. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the press and media personnel, as well as columnists, for their work connecting members of society and cementing national unity and cohesion. He also hailed the role of the press and media in conveying to the world Bahrain's genuine image and the progress boom it is witnessing in various fields. Tackling international issues, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that initiatives pioneered by the countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council have contributed to achieving balance and stability in the region. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah al Salah, chaired today the Council's 22nd meeting. The Council approved the prohibition of littering except in designated areas. The Council also approved the prohibition of waste sorting and treatment except in sites prepared or licensed for this purpose and in accordance with the conditions and procedures of public hygiene law. The Council also approved the introduction of Article 3, which prohibits spitting, expelling any chewed substance, or throwing and abandoning trash, cigarettes and waste, urination and defecation in undesignated areas, washing vehicles or any other action that would cause water to flow in roads, as well as leaving air conditioners without proper discharge piping. The Council also approved obliging landowners to fence their unbuilt land. A training programme for French language teachers from seven countries was inaugurated today. The programme was organised by the Consultation and Communication Centre for Teaching French Around the World, in cooperation with the French Embassy in Bahrain and the Ministry of Education. 
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, affirmed that the Kingdom had been teaching French to its students in intermediary and secondary schools, as well as in higher education institutions. He added that the Kingdom's decision to teach this language in schools and universities conforms with its vision of reinforcing intellectual and cultural openness. Bahrain Bourse held an official bell ringing ceremony today at the Bourse premises to inaugurate the Bahrain Investment Market in the presence of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Sayed Al Zayani, and Bourse CEO, Sheikh Khalifa Al Khalifa. More on this report with Heba Abdul Ghaffar. An innovative equity market designed specifically to offer the region's fast-growing companies an alternative cost and time-effective means for raising capital opens for business. An official bell-ringing ceremony was held by Bahrain Boost today to inaugurate Bahrain Investment Market, developed to address the financing gap faced by SMEs unable to meet the criteria of Bahrain Boost main board and the global investors increasing demand to invest in companies in the region, showing a 42% increase in Bahrain Boost trading volumes year over year. It will provide solution for companies uh, who are looking to grow through capital market, uh, whether uh, financing uh, their project or to provide them sustainability. An agreement was signed with Temkin to support businesses and enterprises to cover the costs associated with listing and appointing a sponsor, adding even more value to the BIM's innovative world-class equity market ecosystem. The event also featured signing separate agreements with professional advisory firms KPMG Bahrain and Keypoint to become authorized sponsors and service providers, combining their local expertise, global networks and resources towards a robust and well-regulated stock market platform. We're hoping that uh, this will open lots of opportunities for the small and medium uh, business okay, in the region and in Bahrain particularly to be able to raise their capital, list their shares and uh, diversify their business in the future. It gives us an opportunity to act as consultants to the newcomers to the Bahrain investment market which is a, which is a very good initiative that uh, Bahrain Bourse is coming up with. Um, this initiative is going to help uh, smaller and medium-sized companies to uh, expand by getting uh, more capital into their companies. Startups represent the largest and fastest growing segment of the private sector. Figures released by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism show that the number of commercial registrations in Bahrain tripled year on year from 9,000 to 27,000. Therefore, such initiatives will fill a crucial financial gap in the market. A wide participation of members of the business community in the operational opening of the Bahrain investment market launched today, aiming to meet the financing requirements of companies, particularly SMEs, diversify sources of fund and capital, and invigorate the Bahrain market. Reporting for Bahrain International, and Hedab the Mokhor. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Shogh Mohammed. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,378.55 points, marking an increase of three points above previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 73% of total shares. 130 transactions included 12,677,117 shares, worth 2,296,628 Bahraini dinars.